Hello, my name is Stephen Redman and welcome to Pastor's Library, the channel where we talk about everything to do with theological books, be they books for a seminary course, for a reading list for your seminary course, or for your bachelor's degree or master's degree in theology, or whether or not they're just books you've seen on uh, the shelf of your vicar's uh, library or your pastor's uh, office and you want to know more. If you like what we have to say, please click like on YouTube and also click subscribe and ring the bell and that way you'll be the first to know when we um, launch another episode of Pastor's Library. So uh, the last couple of episodes we've talked about uh, pseudepigraphical books, uh, Old Testament and New Testament ones and um, whereas I was going to leave it there uh, I, I, looking through my bookshelves, I, I just found another two books I think that are worth mentioning. Um, these books uh, have a more of an overview uh, to do with time scale and also are presented um, in groups uh, of particular interest. So, for example, an area of time that we are well familiar with, those of us that study our Bibles, is the uh, Second Temple. Uh, period, uh, which really started at about 515 BC and um, concluded in 70 AD with the destruction of the Second Temple. Um, uh, that The Second Temple being the temple that Jesus uh, knew and worshipped at. Um, now, that Second Temple period is critical uh, for understanding um, matters in the early church because it was the immediate history that uh, the apostles grew up in and um, it ha had influenced uh, very much all of their backgrounds. And so uh, three guys have put together uh, an anthology in two volumes. These are Brad Embry, uh, Ronald Herms and Archie Wright. Uh, they have edited together uh, two volumes of early Jewish literature, or EJL, to those in the know. This is an anthology, it's not a complete a collection, uh, it isn't um, everything, but what it does is it divides um, the uh, literature of the Second Temple period into groups and uh, then uh, presents them to you so that you can uh, consult them and get a sense of what they are saying. Now, this is fairly uh, relevant uh, in my view uh, because as much as the Old Testament pseudepigrapha is very, very much part of this period, there are other books that are also part of it. And what they are saying is that if you are a student of the Second te Temple period, you need to study the Apocrypha, the Pseudepigrapha, um, an edition of the Dead Sea Scrolls, the writings of uh, Philo of Alexandria, uh, the writings of Josephus, uh, and the Greek Old Testament, the Septuagint. And uh, whereas uh, all of these areas uh, co a complete uh, the view or the large view of the well-known literature to Jews of the time, um, this conglomeration or anthology puts together quite a wide range of them and um, it's been quite selective in the way it's picked them. Uh, for example, um, it uh, offers uh, uh, First Enoch and Jubilees uh, as uh, prime areas uh, for us to read amongst these books. And why does it do that? Because, of course, of the immediate relevance that we're aware of to the New Testament writings of Peter and Jude. And um, it's quite a helpful way that it's presented because what it, it does is it divides them into groups like wisdom groups and, and songs and uh, psalms. And um, uh, it, puts, it puts them into these groups and then it will start with um, 
a short commentary. Now, when I'm saying commentary, I'm talking of three, four, five pages, maybe, about uh, the work, uh, which will at least give you something to consider before you start reading. Some of these excerpts are quite short. Uh, some of them are quite substantial, like, like Enoch and Jubilees. Uh, but whatever you're reading, there is at least something to draw on that will um, help your vision and understanding of the documents and of the literature. So, uh, I would say to you that these books, whereas they're not complete, they do give a very strong insight. And at sort of, I don't know, about 750 pages each, uh, they provide a great deal of access. Now, I bought these when they were on offer, and I think I paid about 45, uh, 45 British pounds for them, uh, for the pair. Um, now, only a year later, uh, they're going more about 80 pounds for the pair, uh, which makes me realize I, I did right to buy them when I did. But these are books that they, they might just be the only representation on your bookshelf of these early works. And they will definitely uh, shine a bit of light on your research. And um, my only advice is that it's good to have uh, something. Now, if you want to know more about the pseudepigraphical works, then I've gone into those um, uh, elsewhere in Pastor's Library. But this, this, lit this anthology of early Jewish literature is definitely a thing in itself. And um, whereas it, it does give um, a great deal of insight into the Apocrypha, which may not have been the first thing that you would have thought of, it does give uh, a certain amount of work uh, with Josephus and Philo, which I suppose what I would say to you is, is if, you, if you want to look at the full works of Josephus, they're quite chunky. And to work through them um, is quite a chore uh, because I've done that. But in here, you've maybe got, I think, three of Josephus's main, main works with a little bit of commentary about them. And um, that might sort of either whet your appetite or put you off altogether. And I suppose what an anthology like this does do is it lets you see, well, that the books that you've read uh, are a real... Uh, introduction to uh, the author and you will either like, want to continue or you won't. So you might say, well, having read uh, the three works in, in the anthology, I know I never want to read Josephus again. Now, for me, uh, I would say it was the opposite way around. I, I read these and I thought, oh, I ought to go back and revisit jo the works of Josephus. The same is true of Philo. And, and there's definitely something there. I, I think that we have, have an opportunity here to really engage with the wider literature of the Second Temple period. So uh, these, uh, whereas not inexpensive, are good hardbound books, uh, solid books with uh, a, a, thought, a lot, amount of thought has gone into the clarity of the layout. Um, they aren't uh, of, a, of a type that would, would turn you off just by the layout. The, the layout's quite accessible. And in fact, the sort of introductory element uh, to each reading, uh, to each book, is very much in the style of a um, theological journal, um, which if you were already reading theological journals, you'll look at this and you think, oh yes, this is familiar to me. And so you get a bit of bibliography there as well. There's also an absolutely excellent dictionary of words at the end, uh, which uh, introduces you to the meanings of, uh, of, of words that you may not instantly have access to from your memory. And so um, the, these glossary of terms uh, will have things like um, Armageddon, uh, which you think, oh, well, I know what Armageddon is, uh, but it goes into it a little bit deeper. Um, it has uh, 
anthropomorphic, which is again a standard English term, uh, but then it goes into real theological terms like determinism and uh, deuterocanonical and uh, belial um, and Gnosticism. So all of these words which are not part of our general vocabulary, uh, they are explained in there uh, because you will need them to fully understand the anthology itself. So uh, that's a, a simple introduction to these. Uh, I have to say to you that th they are a real standard of academic work. Uh, these are not just someone that's, that's waved at uh, some documents and bound them together. Uh, they've put a real deal of effort into these. And I actually do commend this to you. I, I think it's a very good thing to have on your bookshelf, uh, even if you've got uh, the wider pseudepigrapha and even if you've got um, uh, the works of, of Flavius Josephus. What, whatever you have, these are a good two-volume work to add to your library. So that's it for today on early Jewish literature. If you've liked that, please click like, please uh, click subscribe and uh, ring the bell. And that way you'll know next time we issue an episode of Pastor's Library. God bless you. Bye.